Yes, I used to work at McDonald's, and this is my old uniform from a decade ago. Now I'm a math teacher, and today I'll show you guys to find out if 2019 to the fourth power plus 4 to the 2019 prime or not. First of all, let me tell you guys, it's actually pretty hard to show if a number is prime. It's actually much easier to show if a number is not a prime. Because we can just try to factor this. If we can factor this to get a product of two numbers, and you also have to make sure these two numbers are not one, then we can conclude that this right here is not the prime. Then we'll be done. And especially, we notice that we have this to the fourth power. Huh, when we have the fourth power, it's actually factorable for some of them. And let me show you how. So here we go. We will make some observations. We'll do some algebra and some exponent, all that. Let me begin with this. We'll keep it because we like it. 2019 to the fourth power. We like this. For this power though, 2019 power, no, not so much. I also want to have a fourth power right here. Hmm, let's see how we can do that. First of all, this right here is an odd number. Why don't we look at this as 1 plus 2018? And with that said, we can look at this as plus 4 to the first power times 4 to the 2018. And yes, I squeezed our coefficient, but in fact, this is still okay. And the truth is, this 4 will actually help us to factor things out more nicely as well, you'll see. But this is not the fourth power yet, though. And you notice that, yes, 2018 is even now, but it's not divisible at 4. It's okay, because we can look at this 4 as 2 to the second power. And then, this right here is raised to the 2018th power, so you multiply this 2 with 2018. And the new power is, of course, this times that, which is... 4036. And now this is a divisible 4, right? And as you can see, we can write this down again as 2019 to the fourth power, and this is plus 4. Well, I want to look at this as something to the fourth power. This right here, all I have to do is divide it by 4, so the inside power will be 1009, and don't forget we still have the base 2 right here. So 2 to this power to this power is. 2 to this power, namely this right here. So here's the deal. In fact, this right here is factorable, and I'll show you guys how to do it. Well, I'll actually show you guys the general case, because the general case is actually pretty famous. And this right here actually has a, has a name. This is called the Solvi Germain identity. And of course, this is the name of the mathematician. And she says, when you have an expression in the following form, namely a, let me just write down a to the fourth power plus four as a coefficient in the front, times some other thing, let's say b to the fourth power like this. This right here is actually factorable. And you might be wondering how is this factorable because back in the algebra days, your teacher told you the sum of two squares is not factorable with real numbers. Well, this right here, technically, you have the fourth power. If you're willing to just think about how can you make things happen, then you will actually make you know, good things happen. Let me show you how. First of all, this right here, I, I don't know how to do it. I know, right, wouldn't it be nice if I have an expression that's easier to deal with? And we know when we have the expression in this form, something square plus two, well, maybe like a, alpha squared plus 2 alpha beta, and let me just put down parentheses for this, and then plus beta squared, like this. This right here is actually a perfect square. And I'm not really completely square, kind of, but not really, because the usual completed square, you just add a number and subtract a number. But here, we're trying to make things happen. Okay, so this is what we know how to factor. This is what we have. Perhaps a to the fourth power, let's just fill in the parentheses. Look at a to the fourth power, I can fill in here as a square square. Of course, that's a to the fourth power. And then for 4b to the fourth power, I can put it here as 2b square and then square. That will give me that as well. And with that said, so far this part is the same as this, but I would like to introduce the middle part. Of course, for this parentheses, I will just bring this here, namely a square. And then for this parentheses, I will bring this here, namely 2b squared. And when we have this expression, 
this is so wonderful because we can factor it, but the problem is that this is no longer the same as the original. It's okay. Let's just go ahead and subtract this term right away after this right here. And this is pretty much what I have done in the previous video, right? You add something and minus something to make things happen. Anyway, we write this down. And of course, 2 times 2, we can write this as 4 a squared b squared like this. And of course, you can verify the right-hand side is the same as the left-hand side. And the beauty of the left-hand the beauty of the right hand side is that these three terms together will be just a squared inside, and then we add 2b squared like this, and then square that. So all these three terms become this after you factor it. And the best part is that for this, I can look at this as minus parentheses with a square on the outside, and of course, fill in the parentheses. This will be 2ab, right? And the deal is that, you see, this right here is a difference of two squares now, and we can actually factor it again, right? So you will see, this right here will give us, well, it's this minus that times this plus that in, the, in terms of the inside. So let me write it down. We will have a squared plus 2b squared, and first, let me just write down minus this guy, which is 2ab, and then we are going to multiply by a squared plus 2b squared, and then plus 2ab right here. And this is so wonderful, isn't it? Yes, it is. And as you can see, in our situation, a is 2019, and b is 2 to the 1009 power, which is really good because now we can factor it by just using this identity. So let's take a look of what we end up with. Well, as we can see, we have a squared minus 2ab, so let me just write it down right here. a is 2019, so we have 2019 squared, and then minus 2 times a and b, so we have 2019 times this right here is the b, so we put down 2 to the 1009, and then we add 2b squared, which is this thing squared. Let me just write down 2 to the 1009 and then square. And this right here is the first factor. And then let me just kind of like box this because I kind of run out of space, my bad. <laughs> and then we multiply with the second factor, which is pretty much the same thing. Instead, you have a plus right here instead of the minus there. So as you can see, we actually were able to factor this into a product of this number times this number. And now you have to be careful. You have to show that this is not equal to 1 and this is not equal to 1. Because if one of the numbers is equal to 1, technically you're not really factoring it, right? Of course, this right here, it's really clear that it's greater than 1. Why? Because everything is positive and you're adding and these are crazy numbers. Of course, this is greater than 1 obviously. And uh, this is kind of slightly trickier because you see you have a subtraction in the, in the middle right here. So you may have to do some convincing work. This is clear, but this right here you have to do some work. So notice this right here is 2 times 2 to the multiply the powers, you get 2018. And of course you multiply this, which you just add a power, which is this is just the same as 2 to the 2019. I think this right here is bigger than that. Well, let me just make a note. As you can see right here and here, we can divide both sides by this power, namely 2 to the 1009. And then here you get 2 to the 1010, like this. Yeah, you subtract the powers. Is this greater than this? Of course it is, come on. I, I think now it's clear, like 2 to the 1,000 something, of course it's, yeah, it should be clear now. Okay? It should be clear now. Well, 2 to the 12th power will be bigger than this, and of course, yeah, so, seriously. Okay? This right here is bigger than this. And of course, you're adding that to it. It has to be bigger than 1. And it depends on how you want to phrase it, but you can just say it's clear, it's bigger than 1. 
So the conclusion is that 2019 to the fourth power plus 4 to the 2019th power is not a prime. And before we go, I have a question for you guys. When can the expression n to the fourth power plus 4 to the nth power be a prime number? Be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know your answer. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give me a like and also subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And as always, that's it.